I am back at Arby's again for another new menu item. Today is the prime rib cheesesteak. Now, apparently this has come back. I've never had one. I've never seen one. I've never ordered one. So this is new to me. If you've had one, you probably know what it was like. And if you haven't, you're in the same boat as me. But it is back for a limited time. So Arby's prime rib cheesesteak right after this. Welcome back to Brick Eats. I'm your host, Brian Brickman. That's right, baby. Oh, we're back at Arby's. Arby's is killing it over here, by the way. And I will say one thing, man. They have been putting out a ton of new menu items this year. And they've got me to come. And those those, those hush fuzzy fish strips were actually really good. Um, And some of the other stuff is hit and miss. But the Arby's that I go to, the Arby's here in Frisco, Texas, man, I am. they have done a hell of a job. They have cleaned that place up. They have, the staff is more friendly. They're faster. The orders are more correct. And, uh, and I, I think they're building the... Uh, food items correctly now so kudos to arby's and frisco for getting it right we like that that's not why we're here we're not here to kiss arby's right we're here to try arby's new sandwich so well i but let me get it out here it is in all its glory that's a pretty big sandwich being a cheese steak it should be big mm, okay here we go that is a nice soggy piece of bread <laughs> it's got good size it's got lots of meat there's prime rib i can't even get it open it's so cheesy i can't even get it open let's let's bite into it and see how it goes here meat i can tell you first impression this is actually pretty good i mean this isn't going to be your like traditional cheesesteak from pat's king of steaks or something but for arby's that's pretty good the bread is soft it's almost soggy soft but it's not quite as still is still holding up. It's got that that roast beer, that prime rib in there, and uh, it looks like it's got some green peppers, onions. But hey, and the main component, it's covered in cheese. Not bad, at Arby's. That's kind of a fun sandwich. Uh, like I said, it's not a great cheesesteak. Um, but as far as Arby's, uh, if you like to eat at Arby's, you have a close to Arby's to your work or your home. Uh, this would be a nice change of pace. It's a little on the bland side. It's not like not like the best tasting cheesesteak I've ever had, but better than a microwave cheesesteak. You can count on that. 10 bucks for the combo meal, so uh, I don't know. At that price, I'd rather order off the value menu. I did get curly fries, though. Their homestyle fries are really good. But I was just missing these curly fries. I love their curly fries. Mm. But you know how to make this good? I would order it with extra meat and extra cheese. And I bet if you got extra meat and extra cheese, I bet this would be really, really excellent. Other than that, I'd say it's a, um, yeah, I'm, I, I'm leaning towards thumbs up. It's definitely not thumbs down, but it's definitely, I mean, it's not, ooh, go get this. I mean, you know, uh, like I said, if you want to change your pace, you want to give it a try, or it's not a bad cheesesteak. It's a good sandwich, not a bad cheesesteak. You know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of wavering in the middle on the thumbs up, thumbs down. How's that for a big load of indecisiveness? Sorry, that's how I feel. And that's it for me. And I appreciate you watching this video. And I appreciate you watching all the way to the end. And I appreciate all those comments, likes, and subscribes. And until next time, keep trying Arby's new menu items. And we'll see you.